Superintendent of Northwest Community Schools, Jeff Bontrager. Hi, Jeff. Good morning. How are you doing, fellas? Good morning. Good. How are you? Can, can I shake your hand again? Sure. Please, sir. All right. Good to Excellent. see you. Good you to too. See you. you too. I uh, I don't know if you saw, but I have a Northwest I love JTV it. mug that uh, I just ordered. JTV, I love it. Ray Hines made it for I me. Might, <laughs> I might really uh, need to get hold of one of those. I can get you one. All right. They're in the JTV gift shop. I get connections. Shop. Yeah, we have connections. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Your school board president. Yeah, they made right. it for me. Right. Right. So. Uh, that's right. He works at uh, MVP. That's, that's true. That's true. Hello, Brad. Well, congratulations to the uh, Northwest class of 23. Uh, people are, have been raving about the uh, graduation. We had uh, three of your graduates, three uh, valedictorians. The Schroeder triplets were on last week. Aren't that's, they pleasant? Yeah. They One are the great just, kids. Uh, they, uh, they, they put on a little show that <laughs> to, to see them in action. It, well, you did yeah. uh, because you guys were filming that. But to see how they literally weaved in and out for their cool. their uh, Vale Victorian speech was uh, pretty special. What I've pressure. never seen anything like that. What pressure, right? Because if one of the right. kids slips up a little bit, you have two of the right. three. I mean, yeah, it's, it's tough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and people is that what you call peer pressure from your own brothers? <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. Yeah, uh, what that would be like. Yeah, all right. Well, people have been uh, calling us, ordering individual clips of the uh, graduation ceremony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was. Uh, it's it's going viral. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you what, huge kudos I want to say right now to our uh, Northwest High School administrative team. Uh, there's there's so much that goes into this behind the scenes uh, and if I don't know if we have any clips of that but the uh, just the level you know it looks like a collegiate graduation mm -hmm. uh, uh, it is just uh, everything is red and black and having it on that uh, uh, turf football field and it, it was uh, it's great yeah so it was a perfect it day was first class perfect day yeah. Well, uh, you guys have got uh, a bond to talk about. And, we sure uh, do. A lot of uh, a lot of improvements, um, potentially. One thing I I, I like about um, all of these slides is security is addressed um, pretty much everywhere. It is. It is uh, security. Um, this is just one of our buildings. Um, all five buildings are going to be touched. Uh, but security upgrades will happen in every building. That is uh, uh, cameras, uh, new cameras, door swipes, uh, the, the, the door boots uh, as well. Uh, uh, and, and in this case for our early L, uh, five additional classrooms. Those classrooms are for our five young fives classroom, which is at early kindergarten. So those will um, all be young fives? They will, wow. and, and each one will have uh, a restroom right in the the actual classroom so yeah we're excited about that and that'll all be uh, ground up yes that. correct yeah. correct and L, in our upper L it would be four additional classroom and then new restroom facilities and updated restroom facilities so the two things that you're going to see across the board for the entire district is security uh, upgrades and restroom upgrades in new new restrooms. Uh, you know, most of that, that's something in our 2013 that we really, uh, other than the, the new spaces, we were not able to address, you know, as you know, in any, in any business or home, uh, bathroom restrooms and kitchens are really expensive there, so. Where you and I um, went to high school, I think we've talked about this, they didn't have doors on the back. They did not, or stalls, stalls. yes. Uh, <laughs> So the middle school, uh, again, the security upgrades, restroom renovations, our locker rooms uh, renovated. Uh, our classroom, the two things you'll see there is the blue space is creating that cafeteria multi-purpose room. Right now, uh, if you look to the far right, uh, the media center is media center slash it's, it's overflow space where people, where kids can eat their lunches. Uh, so uh, this, multi-purpose room slash cafeteria space is greatly needed. And then we're gonna convert um, our uh, present media center into two classrooms uh, as, as well as a media center space. So um, 
yeah, high school, uh, a new choir room, band room, um, and then the old, the, the present choir and band room, uh, they uh, will be converted into tech ed. So you see in that lower left corner where it says tech education, uh, that is our current band and choir room. Uh, we're building larger ones to, that our band and choir programs are phenomenal. But what it'll do is you'll see in the far left, lower left, that our tech ed space right now. So that's gonna triple the size of that, which will uh, be able to accommodate our STEM manufacturing and robotics programs. So, um, and then up in the upper right corner, you, you see the locker room reno renovations mm -hmm. and, and then the, the pink areas throughout the, the uh, schematic there is the restroom renovation. So we have a lot going on. Um, our a lot connect of, a lot of uh, space. Yes, a lot yes. of space to take care of. And, and that's really uh, in our Connect and Education Center. Our our big piece besides the security upgrades and rest restrooms is uh, that's one building that um, uh, new windows. Um, they are original windows that are well nearing sixty five years old, single pane windows. So we're excited about that. And then uh, as you can see, restroom renovations throughout the. Uh, schematic there for our education center, which includes our preschool, our Northwest Connect, and our administrative piece. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the big the big thing I want to I don't know if we have a slide of that, but talking about it's a zero mill increase. So right. we're at a we're at a very unique situation. There we go. Yep. Uh, we're at a unique situation in which um you know a, an opportunity when you have every 10 years or so we're 10 years out from the 2013 time frame when we passed a 10 million and a 30 million dollar bond so they gave us the opportunity we refinanced the bond um, at a better rate uh, and so that would drop at 0.21 mills uh, if we do nothing but this is an opportunity to go to the taxpayers and we, for a zero mill increase from the year we're in right now, uh, from the previous year, uh, we can generate $21.5 million to, for this project without raising the millage rate and the taxes are for our folks. So um, does that sound like a phenomenal situation or what? I just like uh, any school, improvements anywhere in our county because uh, improved schools, better schools make our entire it community does. better and let's prove that. I mean if you look, let's just take a look at the last 10 years, the amount of schools that have had improvements over the last 10 years significantly raise the quality of life here in our community. It, it really does and I think you hit the nail on the head Andy is we're such a, a, a neat community and when I say that Jackson County as a whole and uh, the bottom line is schools are what drive, school systems are what drive neighborhoods and, and, and businesses yep. and people, attracting people here to, to Jackson County. And so all of us collectively together, each and every one of our school districts make Jackson County a very special place to be. So mm -hmm. we're, we're proud that we can do our part. And uh, uh, the, the thing I love about this a is the zero mill increase uh, in what we're able to do right. with this to be able to create more space in secure spaces uh, all without being uh, doing this without raising taxes and yeah. without raising the millage rate right. so and property values have uh, have certainly increased over the yes, last 10 years they really have yeah. if, if if you want to buy or sell a house in uh, in the northwest school district and it's right priced be ready day one bring your brinks truck bring it <laughs> yeah that's a good problem yeah it is uh your robotics students we got a chance to catch up with last week they yeah. visited dr Kulkarni at uh, henry ford mm -hmm. and they uh are very interested in the da vinci uh robotics mm -hmm. and dr Kulkarni is trying to encourage your students to go into uh robotic medicine mm -hmm. yeah that they, they uh what a, and I know many schools have robotics programs now, um, but you know, of course I'm a little um, partial to ours. Uh, they, they've done such a nice job, and when you think about it, really in the last five years, we've went from no program to a K-12 program. And as you know, our, 
high school level went to um, Worlds right. um, and did well. Oh, and, yeah. and they their core heart was two teams from Israel, if you want to know about a cross-cultural experience. Yeah. Uh, so what a neat experience. But what, you know, Bart, you're talking about is, is so neat because, you know, it, it, sometimes it's all fun and games, but how if you don't have a real life world application right you know it's fun competing in all these contests and so on but what a what a great experience to be able to uh to meet with the folks at henry ford to see like wow i love robotics i love this but this could be a possibility of how mm -hmm. you know this could translate from something i love into my career yeah. so what, cool. what, a, what a great opportunity good things happening thank you henry ford we will, uh, I know we'll see you again very, very soon. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us. Well, thank you. It's always a pleasure. We are Northwest. Go, Go Mounties. More of the morning show right after this.